All right, on this day, my wife and I traveled out to Montauk and jumped on a party boat. It's uh, the Viking out of Montauk, and they fish the Block Island area, south of Block Island, on this trip. So here you see I'm just going over the setups. I just use a simple bottom setup on a conventional Newell reel. Uh, that's a Shimano Travala rod. And we're going for blackfish and sea bass. So this is more of my blackfish setup. I have uh, just a simple single hook on a bottom setup. And that's an Avet with a, uh, a custom rod. So I'll leave links to this in the description for all of these setups as well. And yeah, so I you know make sure that we have uh, a bait setup and I also brought a jig setup. Here they're bringing out the bait. They're just using clam. Uh, the first spot that we went to was definitely a wreck. So they're bringing out the clam first for sea bass. Later on in the trip, they'll bring out the crab. But yeah, here you see them needing to double anchor. You know, very large boat. This is really only the only way I guess you can you know keep yourself stable over the piece. So yeah, anchoring took a while. You know, it's not easy. Uh, the captain's very good at it, but still, it takes a little bit. All right, we're gonna try this. So it's like a two and a half or a three ounce. And Elias to Chad. A little piece of clam. Let's see how deep it is. Definitely over a hundred. Say it's one twenty, maybe one forty. This one's on right away. Well, there's definitely some bass down there. That's the one we want. Choked it. Yeah. Absolutely choked it. There's some big boys out here. Oh man. Yep. They on this jig, man. They on it.
getting hit by little guys. fish. Stay hooked. Oh, that's a nice one. That's what we talking about. Look at that thing. Dang man. Freaking beauty. It's such a pretty fish too. Delicious. Delicious nonetheless. It's like 19 and a half. Still working. Let's keep giving it a try. That one's not as big. Check it halfway through. Make sure there's not a fish on, but yeah. Gotta watch that line. As soon as it goes slack, it's a fish. Oh, thump. That was a thump. Let's get him in. Oh, all good. You got it? 
It's just right at the hook. It's like right there. Another beauty. Just want to try the other side of the boat for a second. Got four nice ones. But that it's still on there. It's a little broken, but oh, big! You came out. We just finished. I got four, four big ones. Yeah, I gotta put them in the cooler here. You want anything to drink like before I put them in the cooler? That's yeah, the biggest one. Alright, so it looks like the mate brought out some crabs. Uh, it could be blackfish time. Yeah, man. Let's so start. I think we're probably over, you know, just some rocky boulders. I'm gonna start with uh, half a shell, half crab. So I'm just gonna go in a socket, out of socket. Take the shell off to start. Very simple. Tiny, we're gonna start with tiny baits. All right, gloves are, gloves are off. We are black fishing now. It's pretty deep. This is pretty deep for black fish. Ooh, there's the bottom. See, that's like 90, 90 something feet, 90 
to 100, I think. Little, little scratchy taps. There you go, nice. They're here. Take it though, on the crab. That's a nice one. Eight. He spit that up. It looks like some kind of crab. That's a good blackfish, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey babe, they're catching. Look at he got a nice big blackfish. He got a big blackfish. This guy. It's a big one. What? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Here, just drop this down. This is all ready to go. Oh, that's a bite. Go, 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 babe. Go. Oh, man. Right. Nice. This is a good fish. Oh, that's a big sea bass. Get him in. Get him in, babe. Get him in. All right. Get him in. Here, grab it, grab it, grab it. Nice job. Yeah, that's a keeper. You can measure him on the cooler to make sure, but he's a keeper if he's 16 and a half. See that? Eighteen, keep it. Puncture is the gill. Hey, you want me to do it? I got it? Yeah, bleed them and put them in there. There, you got it. Yep, yep, yep. Now throw them in. Not gonna catch them like this. Ever since we left that first spot, we've been. It's been a pretty good bite. Where'd the scissors go? The top dog, none. I didn't catch any blackfish yet. How many you can keep? Oh, how, how many can you keep? Yeah. You can keep three per person. Just three? Yeah. And sea bass, you can keep six. Nice, baby. Got another one? Yeah, these guys spin and stuff, so they get tangled. Thank you. There you go. It's a decent size one. Yeah, I think that's small. Well, 
a lot of sea bass down there. Keep porgies or no? No? You want this? You want this? Thank So many bites. You're not getting bites? Did you get bites and then they stopped? Yeah. Let me check your bait. I'm gonna check mine too. I'm telling you, they're smart down there. They are smart. Yep, told you. I knew it. Alright, I'm switching this set up because this is a lighter lighter line might be able to sense the bite a little better this is only 30 pound braid and I got 40 pound leader bites turning on again Just don't see many blackfish though Blackfish bite is non existent. Try a sea bass. First drop, man. Almost 17 and a half. That's a blackfish. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dig we all love. Nice. They're down there. Bite is very finicky though. Like 17 and a half. No, it's just very like subtle taps. They're not like, you know, super aggressive. Yeah. Deeper water though. Ah, uh, sure. I'm not really used to this. Yeah. 
was getting a lot of bites right there. You too, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a lot of porgies lately. Yeah. Yeah, when I the clam, I You got two on that one, right? Or the more? Dang, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. But did you use your frozen green crabs to catch that? So the bigger one was on the frozen though. Cause that was the first one you caught, I think the bigger one, right? <laughs> that's awesome. I know. <laughs> I didn't want to throw it away. I had so many. I went out with so many shorts. So I get it rough. And that was my last week on the jet ski. I said, Nice. Oh, babe. Nice. Keep your rod tip up. All right. There you go. Nice and easy. There you go. That's it. Oh, nice. That's it. Decent one. Yeah, it's gonna be too small. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Oh, dang. Yeah. Hit the clam though. Wow. That was a serious fish. Big porgy. let it hit the bottom this just you push all the way to the top it's a it's a lever though so you felt it you felt it at the bottom yeah okay yep push it all the way to the top all the way yeah okay no. you have to set the hook on the blackfish when you use the crab you got to kind of have to set the hook but wait for the big bite you feeling little nibbles Set, 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 set. You got it? Oh, that's a big, that's a nice one. Nice, babe. You got a blackfish. You definitely have a, well, we're not sure yet. Good sea bass. That's a keeper, I think. Grab the line. Here. Well, we'll measure it, measure it. Small? Probably right. Measure, 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 measure. Just measure. It's good. It's, it's good, right? Yeah. Good job, babe. Huh? One blackfish, yeah. One blackfish and one sea bass on that last spot. They're hard. The blackfish are hard to get. Not sitting on the right bite. Another one. They're pretty thick down there. Let's... I'm following you here. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> oh, that's sharp tap. That's a sharp tap. Oh, get him, get him. I might sea bass. Oh, it's heavy. That's a keeper. All right, that's a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper right there. It's weird how they just like come and go though. Yeah. They're swimming around, I guess. Looking around.
That's a big porgy. Here, wipe it on this. You want to wipe it? Jumbo scup. Jumbo scup. Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wow. <laughs> That's a jumbo. Yeah, he's keeping him. You have to admit, the big porgies are fun. You didn't notice that you had one? I think my bait's gone. Yep. Big, big porgies. This looks like a lobster claw, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It is a lobster claw. So it must have, a sp sea bass must have spit it up or yeah. something. That's crazy. Whoa, that's a good one. Nice. Nice, babe. You got it? See, they have a... No, but they have a spine on the dorsal. You see the spine coming out of his fin? So, I mean, it can, it can poke you pretty good. Yeah, we got two spines. Yeah, oh yeah, the one back there too. This says your hospital. I mean, it can happen to like any like any fish that pokes you. It can happen, yeah, right? Like yeah. a even a porgy spine, yeah, a porgy if it gets you good spine. enough. Yeah. yeah. Those are bad too. Yeah. But those but, are guaranteed. But those probably just filled with so yeah. much crap. You know which one is bad too? It's track bass. Track really? Bass. You gotta watch out for that one too. I guess it's like the bigger the spine, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like the thicker. Lord. Shite, you <laughs> I get bites immediately. You getting bites too? They're small fish, though, aren't they? So that was it. I did drop the underwater camera down real quick at the end just to kind of see if I could see anything. You can kind of make out some small fish down there, but yeah, it's too dark. This is definitely around 100 feet. But all in all, it was a really nice day. Great to be out there on the water with my wife. And the sea bass definitely saved the day because the sea bass were biting much better than the blackfish. How many blackfish did you get? How many blackfish? Yeah. How many? One, two? One. One, just one? I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice cod though. Keeper cods. Nice. Yeah, so as you heard, you know, the whole boat didn't do great on blackfish. I know there was that one guy who got two, you know, some guys got one, uh, and many just didn't get any at all. You know, using clam definitely would have probably got you a limit of sea bass and a good amount of porgies, but you would have had to work through a lot more shorts. Using that paddle tail on the heavy jig head definitely helped cull out the bigger sea bass. Uh, most of the day I had my wife using clam and we caught a couple of these cunners too as well. These are really good. If you haven't tried them, definitely give them a try. They're definitely worth a fillet. Uh, but yeah, sea bass is a great hole, so we got some of them scaled and gutted, and the rest filleted, so we'll vacuum seal those for the winter. Yeah, these party boat trips are fun. They even have bunks here you can rest. Uh, as long as the weather is good and the crowds are light, you, know, well, you can have a really good time, and you know, it's just one way to get out into some deeper water and get some nice fish. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.